One of the great challenges in preparing for a negotiation is how to deal with that huge, great shopping list of things you'd like to come out of it. Which are the most important? Which are the least important? And for that, I recommend a tool called Moscow Analysis. Moscow Analysis is a simple approach to classifying the things you might have into four categories. The first category is things that you must have. There is no sense in going into the negotiation with any intention other than to achieve them, because if you don't achieve them, then the negotiation will not be worthwhile. They therefore relate very closely to your banner, your best alternative to a negotiated agreement, because if the negotiation doesn't deliver the musts, then you need to revert to a BATNA that does. The second category is the shoulds. Shoulds are things that a good negotiation will also deliver. They're not absolutely crucial, but you're aiming for them because they will make you feel that the negotiation has been a big success. Then there are the coulds. The coulds are the things that if you can get them, they will make the negotiation even better. No one will consider the negotiation anything other than a success if you get the musts and the shoulds, but don't achieve any of the coulds. But it is worth putting in some extra effort to see if you can deliver some or all of your coulds. And finally, the won'ts. These are the things that you would get if you could get them, but you know that you can't. You know the effort to get them, the concessions you'll need to make are not justified by the value of these things. And so you are not going to waste your time. And let's face it, negotiating collateral in negotiating for these, you will not do them. You won't do them. You can think of a Moscow analysis very much in terms of the Pareto principle, the idea that you get 80% of the benefit from 20% of the concessions. Those very, very few essential items, the musts, deliver a vast majority of the benefit. A disproportionate amount of the rest of the benefit is delivered by the shoulds but the coulds do not deliver a whole lot of benefit, even though there are loads of them. And the things you won't do, you won't do them because it'll take a huge amount of work to deliver a tiny amount of benefit. The best way to work with Moscow analysis is to put everything you could possibly want from the negotiation, each item onto a separate sticky note or card. Then to create four posters, a must, a should, a could, and a won't poster. And then to start to allocate those cards to the posters and to prepare to negotiate as a team by discussing which card goes on which poster and to shift them around until you are absolutely certain that the cards are in the right place to represent the negotiating priorities. Moscow analysis is a powerful tool. I use it a lot and I recommend you do too. Please give us a thumbs up if you like this video. I'll be creating loads more great management courses content, so please subscribe to our channel and hit the bell so you don't miss any of it. I look forward to seeing you in the next video and in the meantime, keep learning.